हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोन सी अ प्रॉब्लम लॉन्गेस्ट पैलेंड्रोमिक सीक्वेंस आफ्टर एटमोस्ट की ऑपरेशन नाउ द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम विल भी कमिंग सुन प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट वी लाइक एंड वी हिट दैट लाइक ऑफ हंड्रेड लाइक्स प्लीज कर देना नाउ इट सिंपली सेट यू आर गिवन स्ट्रिंग एस एंड इन टीचर के एज यू कैन सी स्ट्रिंग एस इज गिवन इन टीचर के इज गिवन नाउ द प्राइमरी टास्क इज दैट इन एनी वन ऑपरेशन आई कैन रिप्लेस एनी करेक्टर एट एनी पोजिशन with its next or its previous letter which means that okay a can be replaced like next character is b previous character is z now which means that things are cyclic in nature for example z next character is a previous is y so this is exactly what they have also mentioned but this is one operation which means shifting of a to b is one operation then b to c one operation c to d one operation so shifting from a to d is three operations that's the thing ultimately your task is to return the length of the longest palindromic subsequence subsequences as you know that if i have a simple string choosing any random characters is actually what makes up as subsequence now i have to choose or i have to return the longest palindromic palindrome which is same as from left and right and that should be longest now let's see exactly what we can do but before that always make sure that you try to get a gist of how this subsequence that to a palindrome would look like i'll give you that same gist cool let's see so for example i just take you a very happy case of a palindrome you know that a a same b b same c c same it's a very happy case again you might say are in it is a palindrome great but it is also a substring great but primarily we had subsequence again i'm not referring longest here longest we'll discuss we'll discuss later on but we have broken down into three steps one is longest one is palindrome one is subsequence now longest we will see later on palindrome we saw now let's see subsequence subsequence will say okay a and then this a i don't care about this thing again i i, 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 I don't care about it then b then one other b same way a another a so you see that it is just that i don't care about its corresponding location number of elements between it after it it's just that i'm kind of concerned about these only now okay palindrome we got subsequence we got now let's try for longest for longest again the basic case is try for the naive way naive way will say any string which you have right now with you to imagine or to make it as a palindrome obviously you have to start from the left and right because palindrome says left and right should be equal but then obviously if i just keep on comparing them then okay then go on to the next one then compare them then go on to the next one then compare them obviously it will become a substring for a subsequence the liberty is skipping liberty is skipping i can skip left as well i can skip right as well i can skip anything oh that's the biggest liberty of actually subsequence so i will merge or mix those two concepts obviously palindrome says starts from the end point so i have taken left and right as the end points then next step obviously start off i and j and then compare but with a liberty of subsequence subsequence which means skip skip liberty skip liberty says okay i don't want to convert a to d now before we go on to that obviously i assume that you must have read the example in the example operation required are two then they have said that this is what they have given and with that c c c this is what they have said as one of the subsequence of length 3 you can achieve now what are they trying to say here is they change this b to c and then they change this d to c now my question is is it actually required to think of that b and d should be changed to what character i'll say no why because b is changed to c right then and c is being and, and my d is being changed to d oh c so if d is being changed to c b is, b is being changed to c technically don't you think that you have some you know characters let's say your number line you know this is let's say your number line b c d e f g h now e, even if i say that b goes to e and then h comes to e or if i say b goes to h which means b becomes h isn't it same 
obviously it's kind of a distance which you are traveling so it's same that is the reason i can simply replace this by saying that b becomes d and then now i have d d which is the same characters and that is what it is palindrome cool so this is one thing which i just wanted to know just i wanted to show you guys that don't worry about any middle characters you have to convert to no if you want to make these two as same just convert any one of any one of them to another one which means b here will convert to d and that's how i can make them same and again with the same cost now make sure that the cost can be again when i say convert a to z so one cost can be this entire cost of traversing entire thing or the other cost can be the opposite one which is 26 minus this thing whatever you have you know a and d so obviously uh, let's say if even if i keep my you know a as uh, um 26 and then uh like z as 26 and a as 0 then i will have uh just one corresponding cost i can take a as 1 let's say so i can have that one corresponding cost again i will show you guys if i just want to you know give a quick glimpse of how exactly we can do the conversion simple very simple the very simple case will say that if i have let's say a c now convert a to c how what what will be the cost obviously c minus a or a minus c anything because i will take absolute absolute of c minus a which means the operation will be a to b b to c 2 c if, even if I, even if i give, give them the numbers let's say i give them 1 then 2 then 3 again 2 for b obviously it will be c minus a just simply minus 3 minus 1 two operations same way if i give a and then i just have to convert to z obviously it will be 1 2 3 up to 1 4 4 up to 26 it will be nothing but absolute value of c z minus a which is 26 minus 1 so i have 25 operations i have in status we have 26 characters i'm assuming if i am not mistaken or if it's 27 do let me know maybe again oh, my english is very very bad cool uh, coming on back now what will be the other thing other thing can be the reversal reversal will say that okay go in the opposite direction so i will say opposite direction will skip the 26 ones so i will have opposite in in that opposite i can simply make sure that i can subtract whatever was in between in between was this value absolute of this z minus a z minus a so what is this value this is 25 so this is okay as i go forward i have 25 as i go reverse i have 1 so this is what i will get 1 which is 26 minus as i go forward same way if i go forward it is 2 reverse will be 26 minus 2 which is 24 and that's how i can get both the things which is forward and also reverse reverse will be obviously 26 minus the absolute value which is absolute of z minus a which will give 26 minus 25 which is 1 and minimum of, minimum of them will be the actual conversion cost from one character to another because obviously i can convert both in the forward and the reverse direction which means forward as in like this as well or like this as well so this is give to is giving 25 this is giving 1 i'll always take 1 to convert a to z if i want to convert them now coming on back to the ro uh, root you know root example which we had obviously we we saw that we can skip that's a liberty of subsequence so i'll just do the same thing again the liberty of substring also is the same thing that you can skip but the liberty in subsequence is much more higher why i am saying it's in if the problem would have been a substring although i am diverting from the main question but i i i'm just i'm just giving you a quick glimpse if it would have been still a you know a specific substring still you can skip it but the moment you have taken or the moment you have start start uh, you know taking that specific left and right you have to do the entire thing that's the only change in substring but in subsequence it's much more liberty skip it as as and when you like keep on skipping it keep on skipping it as and when you like so let's see what i will do okay first option skip the left side so i'll skip the left side and i will start which means i this 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 becomes question mark not required okay other option skip the right side okay no worries this becomes question mark now this is the main thing or other option is now convert a to d which means make them same make them palindrome so i'll convert a to d a will will be converted to d what is the cost cost will be either d minus a absolute value right which will be nothing but 3 3 or it should be 26 minus 3 which is 23 obviously it is 3 is the minimum cost so cost required to convert a to d will be 3 will be 
and I will add three. And then I will ask, you know, I will ask simply. Now your I becomes here, J becomes here. Now repeat the same process, same process as in this exact same process with I here, J here, and again having three possibilities. Now obviously by now, by this time you must have seen. Now I am trying for recursion. Obviously I have three options. Uh, obviously it will be exponential and we know that obviously we can apply memoization which is DP if you don't know about DP I'll highly 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 recommend come on to the practice playlist quick practice problem sheet and please solve at least 50 DP problems again they are quite a quite a lot but at least solve 50, 50 problems again the way I teach DP is a bit different than others uh, now coming on back what you will see here is okay you have these options now is there anything remaining uh, obviously yes let's let's complete it maybe now, in this case, let's see if I want to convert it. Obviously, it will again have three options. Skip it, skip skip left, skip right, or maybe convert it. Let's say if I, if I convert B to D. What, what will happen? Cost will be two, and then I will have, uh, you know, question mark, conversion, and then C, and then E, and then let's say D. D is taken, let's say. Now, my I came here, and my J came here. Now, because of cost of two, I have taken. Obviously, what will I take? I will take, obviously, the corresponding I want what longest palindrome and this is what this is two two uh, technically are in I want the length right so what what was that two that two should technically be the length which I am taken I have taken so if I take two characters the length will be two but I didn't what, what, what about the cost no worries the cost to convert the cost to convert these two will be the cost to convert these two will be whatever cost let's say operations required will be 2 but the allowed operations I have is k k is also 2 which means that I will keep on decreasing my k do you see how many states will be required for your dp I feel so you must have now seen I will require i I will require j that's one thing I also need to maintain the current number of k remaining because remaining k will tell will it be even feasible to apply the third operation K will tell, will it be even feasible to apply the third operation? Here in this case, operations required are 3. My K itself is 2, which is, it is not even feasible. Here in this case, when I have operation required a 2, which means my K will now become 0. Now, there is no more K to even apply the third operation. That is the reason my state will have I, J and K, which ultimately see, like which, which ultimately means my time complexity will be N into N into K. Will it work? Let's see. N is 200. M is, again, N is 200. K is 200. N in, sorry, 8 into 1 is 6. This will work. Okay. I am sorted. I am sorted with my actual recursion and also the corresponding case for it. And this is the length. For me, I have to return the maximum length. Maximum length. So out of all these options, I will take the maximum because I am maintaining the corresponding length for them. Now, coming on back, uh, let's just finish it. Uh, obviously, in this, I, I, I have two options or three options. Uh, you know, skip left, which means skip C. Obviously, I can do that. You know, I will now remain with the E only. I will be here and J will be here. Or maybe skip what? Skip uh, your right side, which means I will be here and J will also come here. Or maybe take or maybe convert. But conversion will take a cost of two. I have remaining cost of zero. Because you can see now k had become zero. Obviously, this operation cannot is not feasible. Now, with this case, a simple base case, you can already see that if you have one element remaining, your answer is obviously one. So for one element, because if you know, palindrome can be of even length or odd length. If it is even length, obviously it should be same, same. It should be same, same. For even length, so for odd length, if it is same, same, it can be literally anything. So if I just have one length remaining, which means my left is equal to right, then simply return a one. That's a simple case. Cool. Now let's write the code. It's exactly same as what we discussed exactly like same. Cool. Let's see if how the code will be written. Have a simple solve function. I will have a I, which is the left. Again, in the code, you will see I have indicated by left and right. So this is left, this is right in the code and also the current number of operations allowed, which is k by default in the very beginning. This is zero by default. This is n minus one by default in the very beginning. Now, again, I have skipped the s, you know, string s in the DP array. My task was to return the maximum length. This is the length I have to return. Now, as I showed you, the corresponding base case will be 
if you have reached the end, which means i equal to j, right? Then simply make sure that it is a case when you have one element in between and that element can be a middle element of my palindrome. But other edge case can be if my i has gone past my j, which means my i has gone past because you know i is moving right, j is moving left. If the i has gone past my j, then obviously it's a not a valid case, simply return a zero. Now, elsewise comes the next part because base case is done. Next part says simple memo case. Memo case says that dp of i, j, k, if it is not equal to minus one, then simply return dp of i, j, k. Now, the actual recursive case. Recursive case says we have three options. First operation was, you know, again, and out of all these three options, taking the maximum length. Okay, let's take the three options. So the first option says, again, I want what? I want the maximum length. And I want to take the maximum of three options. First option is skipping the leftmost, which means my i, you know, my left will start from i plus one. Right will still remain as is. And then the operations also remains as is. Other option was skipping the right side. So i remains as is, j becomes j minus one. And then my operation also remains same. Third, third was if I take both of them, which means if I convert for that, for third option, I have to find the cost. What is the corresponding cost? As I told, the cost can be because the thing is cyclic, it can be on the left and the right, which means it can be forward and backward. So the cost, or I should say the operations required will be uh, whatever I can take minimum like this or like this. What is like this? Like this is ABS of whatever I have at i and j. So it will be s of i minus s of j. You can take anything. I have to take abs. So it will be positive always. Other operation is if I go downwards, which is 26 minus abs of s of i minus s of j. So out of these options, this is the operations required. I can perform third operation only and only when if remaining operations which I have, which is, you know, remaining operation which I have should be more than equals to my operations required. Only then I can perform the third operation. And in third operation, when I perform it, I will say that, bro, my length has increased by two because now I have converted two elements to be equal, which is a palindrome length. And then go and solve for the future part. Future part says, I will increase by one, J will increase, my J will decrease by one because I and J pair are already incorporated here. And then making sure that operations required will be operations which I had in the beginning and also the ones which I have used. So operations minus operations required, operations required. And that's how we can simply take the maximum of this, this and this one. And this is my maximum length. Make sure that while we are returning it, so while we are returning it, make sure to just say dp of i, j and your operations, this is the corresponding maximum length. You know, simply memoizing it. And that's your answer. Cool. Let's see the code just as a, as a glimpse. You will see I've taken left, right, uh, base case, memo case. As I told, skip left, skip right, then operations required. If it is more, then take that and maximize your, maximize your corresponding length by taking two as a length because of these i and j becoming same and then making sure that to assign it just for the future purpose. And that's your code. That's simply uh, initialization of dp and ultimately calling for i, j, left, right and initial operations which I can perform and yeah, s and dp are passed by address. Cool. I hope you guys got it. Uh, please make sure that we get the light target of 100 likes because again, uh, it takes a bit of effort to make contest videos. Bye-bye. Take care.